Hey, what's up everyone? So you want to know how to add a little blinky light to a memory card? Of course you do. Let me show you how it's done. Stay tuned. So let's go over the tools and supplies you will need. Soldering iron, solder, 30 AWG Kynar wire, electrical tape, wire clippers, one three millimeter LED, one resistor, I'm using a 470 ohm one fourth watt, a round jeweler's file, you could use other things, but this is what I used, then some other stuff that's not needed, but I found myself using isopropyl alcohol, Q-tip, flux paste, scrap of screen, super glue. You can find links to all this in the description. I missed this, but you're going to need a small Phillips head screwdriver to remove these two small screws on the bottom. After that, the two pieces slide apart easily. Once that's done, go ahead and remove the chip from the casing. We'll be focusing on pins 5 and 9. Take a little bit of electrical tape and cover the circuit like so. Then take your resistor and solder it to pin 9. In my case, I attached a resistor a little further up on a tiny via. This is delicate soldering. Attaching it to the larger pad below is fine. This just looks cleaner. Go ahead and put your circuit board back into the top shell. Then attach a wire to pin 5. You will want to make sure your solder doesn't spread all over the pad. Try to keep it only on the top half. Take your negative side LED leg and attach it to the resistor coming off of pin 9. Then take your wire coming off pin 5 and attach it to the positive leg of your LED. Once you're done, you should be left with something like this, maybe slightly different depending on how you mount your LED within the case. Here's a quick view of the holes I carved in the memory card, just to give you some sort of idea on how to do yours. Both the top and bottom shell will need to be carved out for the LED to shine through. You will also need to carve a small indentation up here to allow your wire connected to pin 5 to fit within the case. You may also need to do this with pin 9 if you connected it to the pad rather than the via. Now in an attempt to make these cuts less obvious, I took a small bit of screen, cut it to size, and super glued it in place. Then put it all back together. Doesn't look too bad. Now just pop your card into your PS2 and enjoy your new blinky light, which only blinks when the PS2 is accessing the data stored on the card, which isn't all that often, but it's still a cool little mod regardless. Thanks for watching, I hope this tutorial was able to help you. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe for more modding goodness. You can follow me on Twitter at TechnoOnTop. Be sure to check out my other videos, I really appreciate the support, and until next time, peace.